Good to see you. Alive, that is. Have you found all of the components yet? Really? I mean, that's great. I knew you could do it all along. I'll get right to work installing these. Why don't you go tell the Elder the good news? I'm sure it'll be a huge load off of his shoulders. Back again, I see. Have you found all the components we need? <sighs> Good news for a change. Your efforts have humbled me, outsider. You have done more than I could expect, even from my brothers. Moreover, I've been going over the scouts' reports, and keep coming up with the same conclusion. The NCR is not the threat I've believed it to be. We should not have had to rely on your help in this crisis. I believed my actions were guided by caution and prudence, but I now see the truth. People called me a hero after what happened at Helios, but I left that battle scarred by fear, and have allowed that weakness to govern my actions. That ends now. I will undo the wrong I have done my brethren and lift the lockdown. With luck, we will once again flourish. Please, take this. It is a small token of my thanks, and scarcely begins to repay the debt owed you, but is all I am allowed to give an outsider. This key will allow you to use our safe house to the northeast. I hope it will prove useful in your travels. You can't help but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. We're like an urban myth, no real presence on the outside. We just don't adapt like we should. Used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. I think you're right. We're getting desperate. Hardly enough people to sustain ourselves as a chapter. They'll see the light, sooner or later. But I get the feeling if I don't take matters into my own hands, the change won't come in time to make a difference. Why does everyone always say that? Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for... Hello? Have you heard the news? Elder McNamara has lifted the lockdown. Good news for this store, let me tell you. I can't wait to start getting more goods. So what are you here for? Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look.
Give me a shout if you need anything else. Bye. Our way. Our way. Are you ready to head up river? The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. This is your last warning. You will relinquish your weapons and banned items, or prepare to face the consequences. This fool challenges the Legion, brothers. Let us teach him some manners. Another kill to my name! Another kill to my name. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Another coach <laughs> You're a scrapper, baby. They didn't stand a chance. How about me? Baby, that can go any direction you want. We can take Vegas together, or I can head for the nearest sunset. Your call. That's it, baby. Time to vacate these premises. Can I help you with something? Need to stop jumping at shadows. I see you reached your destination safely. Shall we get to work? It's a facility I built many years before you were born. You might think of it as a barracks. You'll understand soon enough. The platinum chip is a data storage device. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders and maintain order. 
The same equipment failure that prevents me from remotely operating this facility seems to have activated its security robots and turrets. There's a security room near the base of the stairs. Perhaps you can deactivate them yourself. I like to think you have enough sense to do the right thing. The rewards for doing so are immense, as are the punishments for not doing so. Your work here is done. Return to the Lucky 38 so we can discuss next steps. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind.
knife. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the king. Got it? Sounds... There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. That's bullshit. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. The king promised to take us out tonight. I simply adore going to the tops. Word is those tough guys rangers are here. I ain't seen them myself, but how scary can they be? Look who's back. If you... you know what? I like you. Half the people. Head on through. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? So... I'm supposed to just start giving in to the demands of random strangers that come in here, huh? I don't think so. You want something from me? You're gonna have to earn it. 
It just so happens that I got a few things I need taken care of. So, what do you say? I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguard? It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man, he's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone. Specifically, I want you to. If nothing happens, so be it. But I. Okay then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Some nut attempted to kill the head of one of Mr. to Nick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. If it can be bought, it you can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freesight till you've been to the Wrangler. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. I ought to take my chances and kill you right here. Would you? Don't think this is over, though. I'll have that money back. Out of your hide if I...
personal space meaning anything to you, lady? What do you have for me? So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the Strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of... Good. I like that enthusiasm. What's up? to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at him. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lou Tenant. He probably said, Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes.
Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. There's talk of someone going into the Lucky 38. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. If it can be bought. Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. Rates of injury and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, but I could discount the charge for our services. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. We've got enough medics for the moment, but it thank thank how thanks. With your help, we now have a small overstock of fixer. However, it never hurts to have extra. How much do you have to donate? Good stock of Radawick. Thank. Good to hear. Oh, by the way, I got a shipment of. Take. I'm sure you have your reasons, but even if we wanted to, unless you can handle our supply shortages, Emily says you're working with her on bugging the Lucky 38. That information would be invaluable to our research if you can get it done. I'm sure you have your reasons, but we are much too big. Even if we wanted to, we don't have the resource unless you can handle our sub More than rough, it's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. There is always something. 
We need a regular supply of medicine or... Lastly, tensions between the townies and NC... Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Hello. Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? In that case... Again, we sp you don't look like you're from around here. Just head to the northwest part of town by the old train. There'll be some guards by the door. It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Hold up, what's the password? Head on through. Here you go. I hope this helps.
You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Handing out supplies, like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Nothing's innocent in Freeside. You should know that by now. No, I'm guessing they're doing something they know will cause a row, like keeping the food all to themselves. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything uncalled for. I'm gonna see that those supplies are distributed a little more... What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. I want you to back him up. See this through, and there'll be something good waiting for you when you get back. Good, you're here. These soldier boys don't kid around. They must have had a lookout posted and spotted us coming. They took out two of my guys right away, and now the rest are too scared to move in. Well, that leaves you. They seem to have it in for me. Go figure. While they waste all their bullets trying to get me, you head in and waste them. I've, I've got my eye. I've got my eye on you. You cross the kings, you're a Good, you're here. They took Good, you're here. It... You're a bastard after my own. Now. Oh, that's it. Come on!
You got a death wish? Visiting New Vegas. Hey. Ah, uh, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? I've already heard. Pacer is dead. The kings are up in arms. The entire area is gripped by chaos and the violence has only increased. In fact, I've heard that many are assuming the NCR did it without even looking into the matter. This is the worst thing that could possibly happen. What do you have to say for yourself? That's an understatement. Still, there's nothing to be done about it now. Maybe the violence will die down once things settle. Here, take this. It's not what I was planning to give you, but you deserve some sort of payment for your efforts. Oh, and one other thing. I've received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover's. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. The Colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. lost a month's caps.
Hey, if you've been able to bug Mr. House's ne It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it! I swear to God that old man has thought of everything. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. Oh, hi. Thanks again for helping us with that data. I mean, the feed only... After two tries, I think I've learned enough. I'm sure there's something more promising I could be helping the other followers with. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't tell you about the first time. True. All right. The first try was a little less professional. Someone important on the strip had... Specifically, a Securitron. But this was a while ago. I knew he... See you... Hello. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. You've proven yourself especially capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. 
Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? Then I don't need to tell you that they can be a pain in the ass. The NCR has a rather sordid history with them, and I'm concerned that we'll find them aiding our enemies when the Legion attack comes. That is, unless we get to them first. I want you to visit them in their canyons to the far west and make sure they're in no shape to join the Legion. They're just another gang of raiders as far as I'm concerned, so deal with them appropriately. Any questions? Don't fool yourself. I've dealt with enough of these gangs to know that they can't be trusted. Was there anything else? I can't lend you any troops, but I've already sent word to Quartermaster Barden that you're to be given full access to our hardware. You'll have to pay for what you take, however. We can't afford to give away equipment. Did you have any other questions? Then you'll need to make sure none of them are left to do so. Any other questions? Good. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Dismissed. I hear we straightened up a band of thugs in Freeside. Hey, look who it is bringing that good con karma around. What do you mean, helpful? My stuff already... Oh, you're right. Already on it. Do. We make the happy stuff. Nah, kitten, more like drug suppliers. Oh. They're family, you dig? They've always looked out for us, made sure we had something to eat and a place to crash. Papa may look like a big angry bear, but he's a softy at heart. Regis is cool, scary, but... What's... You're not one of my regulars. What do you want? Yeah, you made a pretty good argument. Whoop. We keep the Great Khans from falling apart, essentially. Jack handles the small-time purchases. And he... Can... many kills now that the fiends have been taken out.
Caesar's veterans are making short work of the NCR. Or that's what I hear. They tell me I'm supposed to sell you weapons. Interested? Take a look. Give me a shout if you need anything. Thank you. 
So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? Have you now? Hmm, well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Ha! The great Khans will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado, and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. I haven't seen you before. What brings you to the Great Khans? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people to be sure, and I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now, and he's not going anywhere. Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships, ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes, I worry that's poisoned his mind. Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. Until... I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the Great Khans, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular, me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. I have my doubts about Caesar, yes, but I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the Great Khans, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. I would too, if I were you. Another kill to my name. Hey, 
Anything going on? Excuse me. Hey, what's up? Huh? Look, kitty cat, me and Diane, we don't dig on that politics stuff, savvy? We just make the product and make it get to a good home. Sure, Caesar's a drag, but as long as we got each other, we don't care who the top dogs roll with. Dude, what a total haul. No way that's Copa Shishi. Yeah, okay. Me and Diane got your back. No sweat. Carl sends his regard. I'm afraid not. Another kill to my name! <laughs> from one of Melissa's runners. What do you want now? You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. What? No, he... What do you mean, aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it, too. All right, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. Is that that check coded? Bastard got thrown out on it. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that.
Wish I could have been there to see Caesar die. What an asshole. Yes. Did you have an update on the cons? An alliance? That's an interesting proposition. Any plan where I can throw packs of raiders at the enemy instead of my own soldiers is a good one. We don't have time for diplomacy. This battle is coming any time now. If the leader won't be budged, he'll have to be replaced. I want you to go back to Red Rock Canyon and assassinate this Papa Khan. You'll have to be stealthy. If they see you do it, they'll kill you. Then why are you... Dismissed. Diane's going nuts trying to find a new contact in the Fiends now that Motor Runner's dead. It's good to have you here. What can I do for you? Let me see. My god, this is even worse than I thought. Okay, you have my support. I'll tell Papa the Alliance is a bad idea. What do you... Suit you? I like you, stranger. You've stood by us when not many would. Yeah. Diane's going nuts trying to find a new contact in the Fiends now. The Motor Runner's dead. I heard from one of Melissa's runners that that check coated bastard got thrown out on his ass. All four of my most trusted advisors have told me we should break our alliance. Maybe I should hear you out after all. Let me see that. Filthy savages? Probably have to decimate the lot of them? Are these the words of our friend, Caesar? Great cons! Drive Caesar's dog out of our camp! If he's too slow to flee, kill him! Hey!
You've been doing good things for us. Don't think I haven't noticed. What can I do for you? Hmm. I've heard some things from my most trust, But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My tribe. Tell me then. If I... Well spoken, traveler. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll de... You've helped me see Caesar for what he is, and I thank you for that. But if you suggest that again, I will have your head. If you should ever tire of wandering alone, seek us out. You might just have the makings of a great con yourself. Evening. Yes. Did you have an update on the con? Good riddance. You've had reports for years that they're the ones who supply the fiends with chems, but no one's done anything about it. In any event, no one will miss them. And I've got another mission for you. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? Head to their casino, Gamora, and ask around. If you discover that what they're up to threatens the NCR, stop it. The Omertas themselves likely won't be forthcoming, so you may need to talk to some of their help to pick up a trail. Anything else? Our preliminary research shows that the Omertas used to do some business in Freeside, mostly buying weapons. Any other questions? Liza O'Malley at the Embassy may have some information for you as well. Dismissed.
Howdy. All your cap. Whoa, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you. Please don't hurt me. We've got stuff we're not even allowed. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Evening. Welcome back. What can I do for you this time? Ah, excellent. I received word you may be coming. We helped the receptionist over at Gomorra with some thugs that were taking advantage of her. She owes us a favor. Go talk to her. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Ma'am? Hey, no one but Omertas are allowed to carry guns into Gomorrah. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way. Hello and welcome to Gomorrah. What can I help you with today?
I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Bye. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? Business. What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. <laughs> 